those Smokies off our ass back there, good buddy. Fredo, you got a big copy. This is one convoy trucker that will not feed the bear. Back to you. That's a Roger copy. Been working on my wagon since the crack of dawn. Got my wide weenies and my zoomies on. I spend more money than I'd really plan. But I got a dog chassis for an easy ride. Got a fun under magic for the mood inside. Don't care if I'm not a wealthy man. Cause I'd rather be riding high in my super van. Sweaty. Come on back to me. This is Arch Crate at the Rock. Our pool's called. Sending you good numbers. 5,000 is a lot of green stamps ready for his prize. 10-4. Doesn't matter if I ever win first prize. Just to sit behind the wheel of paradise. People seem to know now who I am. From Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Illinois. All the little ladies love my pride and joy. Try to please me any way they can Rolling around with me in my super van this right now. Your dream ain't mine, Dad. Look, I gotta go. I tried to teach you, son. I built a going business here for I'm you. Sorry, Dad. I got a chance to do something. What are you gonna use for money? You spend every penny on this damn van. Dad, I have a chance for some real money. Look, a friend's gonna help me. Here. Keep in touch. care of a trucker. You might say I'm an expert. And the people at Trenton Oil are experts at taking care of your van. Trenton Oil to lubricate all those moving parts. Trenton Gas, the super fuel to set your speed up. Trenton Shocks for that smooth ride. So when you need to be taken care of, come to an expert. The people at Trenton Oil will take care of you. Yes, sir. This is Boogie Blue, the Vanners, buddy. Coming at you from K-Van Studios right here in Vanza City, Kansas. Now, tomorrow is the day. 
And you know what I mean. 5,000 big ones to the winner of the big bad happening, the Invitational Freakout, sponsored by Mid-American Motors. That's ma'am. For those of you in the band know, so get those love wagons in gear, you know what I mean, and get on over here. Boogie Blue will personally be in attendance to see that you have the time of your life. Breaker 10, Breaker 10. This is Moonshine calling the preacher van. This is Moonshine calling the preacher van. Soul Saver, we want to shout at you about the big van end. Do you have a copy? <laughs> preacher, you better hang on to the little lady this year. She'll wind up in paradise again. Uh, Evangelist Van here. Uh, Mrs. Dimsdale will be at my side at all times, son. Evangelist Van going down. Uh, hurry, Amy. Lord knows, dear, we'll miss the whole van in. There are many souls to save. Are we going to save a lot of souls? Are there a lot of souls there this year, Martin? Huh, Martin? That's a 10-4 after I take care of a little business. Real good numbers to you at your final 20, Clint. Bring those big bucks home, huh? Jambalaya going down. <laughs> the yeah, chances are your chances are will come. Betty Beaver here, 18 Wheeler. This is one asphalt mama that's real lonely. Gotta work 20 here. Let's press some sheets together. To come back? Now, this is Lone Star, Miss Beaver. If you're working Jake tonight, we just might have a look at those sheets of yours. I'll be rolling in about nine. I'll keep my ears turned way up. Good numbers to you till I catch you later. Hey, Brown Van. This is Lone Star coming at you. Got your ears on? I read you. I'm Pirate Star 10-4. All the numbers to you, Pirate. This gypsy's heading shaky side me a couple of funny books, maybe a hag bag or two. Just settle in for a little general R&R. &R. How about you? I'm going where the road takes me. Maybe Van Heaven. How's the traffic report? Well, it's not too bad. I'm turning double nickels come back. Sounds good, Mr. Pirate. You keep the tires off the grass and the bears off your ass, and Lone Star will catch you on the flip. That's poor, Roger. Lone Star out. This is a five, ten, A negatory on that assistance, Black Cherry. You're just gonna have to uh, haul that load in yourself. Hey, witch! Come on! Give us a fun! Can't you talk over the air like that, damn it? Sounds bad for you, Black Cherry. Hey, is that Janie Carter in there? The one and only Clint Morgan. That's really too bad for you, Black Cherry. I hope you fellas enjoy them penicillin shots. Penicillin? Oh, no! Jamie, you didn't tell me. Jamie, you let you and me. I can't believe it. Clint, tell me you're joking. What do I tell Martha? Morgan! Come back here! Channel 19, over. Stand by, break the channel. Over my <laughs> Hurry up, you head. That isn't fancy. Mmm! <laughs> She's a nice one. On the way, Grinder. Save a piece of that thing for us. <laughs>
That van was going to win me five... Hey, Sport, I hate to bring this up, but where are we going? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I guess we're going to the same place I was going. You know, I got this friend who... Well, what about you? I'm just on the move. Kind of staying one step ahead of my father. In those finishing schools he keeps putting me in. Where are you from, back east? Not really. Uh, sort of, I... Who's this friend of yours, anyway? Well, he calls himself Bosley Birdwell. <laughs> friends of yours? Just a couple of friendly bikers. <laughs> on the way to a rape. <laughs> Wow. 
I, uh, you, uh, uh, God, uh, are you hurt? Oh, I'll be okay. She was seen in a junkyard. Find her. Now, about the advertising. I don't want your excuses, Henry. What I want is every Sunday supplement between here and California. Full page. Yeah, the end crowd, all of that crap. No, 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 I told you. We'd use those engines we got stuck with during the oil crisis. Yes, 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 the big gas guzzlers. Right. right. Oh, Louis. You tell that dealer there in Chattanooga, Lamar, what's his name? Yeah, yeah. You tell him to keep his prices up or our Yankees franchise. Richard Dodds. Uh, what is this place anyway? It's Van Accessories. Mid American Motors. T.B. Trenton. You've heard of him? No, I can't say that I have. But Trenton discovered Boss here when we were still in high school. He has three degrees from MIT. In two years, he was going to help me win the big bucks. So when I had a van, you can still win it, if you're willing to take a chance. Hey, boss, for 5,000 bucks, I'd consider uh, diving off the St. Louis Bridge. No, I don't think it's quite as serious as that. As long as Trenton doesn't know you have anything to do with me. You have to drive her there first. <laughs> Meet Vandora, the Superman. Yes, of course, more hip gibberish, more van jive, more youth identification, all of that crap you PR people come up with. Yes, Henry, of course, all three networks, Henry. Yes, 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 yes. Henry, I've told you, don't worry about my boy genius. The Trenton trucker will be the biggest van of all times. Of course, I've got nine plants retooled and standing by. I've got millions riding on. Of course. And Bosley damned well knows it. Goodbye, Henry. That is the ripoff I was supposed to build. That is what I ended up with. Solar power, too. But will it win the 5,000? Just as sure as my name is, uh... M.A.M., Sarge. M.A.M. What's good for Mid-American Motors is... by God, fantastic for the country. Oh, Mr. T, uh, them two girls at the motel, Michelle and Nancy. You got them? Yes, sir. The one that likes whipped cream? Uh, that's that Nancy. Or was it raspberry finger painting? <laughs> that's our Michelle. Can I drive it? Pandora works. I'm never wrong. Oh, except once, back in 68. So, why don't you drive it? Not me. U.S. highways are statistically unsafe. Besides, I can't drive. If I win, that $5,000 is mine. The money's yours. The fame is mine. When they see this super van... Now, Vandora must make the newspaper before Trenton finds out she's a stand-in for the Trenton trucker. We can do it. We? Hold, wait a second. This here is the Vandora Bannon Express. I know what this is, and I can help. In more ways than you know. Move your butt over. My what? Now, the point is, Vandora's a real lady, and she won't eat Trenton's sludge. 
And when Trenton and his people find out Pandora runs on sunlight, they'll hate her. Well, what happens when the sun goes down, old buddy? She has plenty of reserve. There's plenty of solar storage. Call me if you get into trouble with Trenton. Well, what's he gonna do? Kill me? Now, in just ten seconds, we're on the airwaves, banners. We're gonna kill you. Thrill you with our live on the scene broadcast from the hottest little spot of ground under the bun. Are you ready, Jingle Singers? Yes, we are, Blue. Are you ready, Engineer? Right, Mr. Blue. Hi, Van fans, this is Boogie Blue with 88 to all you guys and gals at the annual non-invitational Bicentennial Invitational Freakout 76. It's the hottest fan happening since my man Vincent cut off his ear. We're going to get prizes, going to interview lovely young ladies, going to have contests, and the greatest and best driving jobs in America's heartland. Think about the hot times <laughs> Mr. Trenton, uh, Mike Betts, sir, uh, security. Betts, huh? These your people? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, they are. Look a little young to be security, don't you think? Well, Mr. Trenton, they just look young. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. That's up there, uh, youth identification you asked for, Mr. T. I hate that music. Right this way, sir.
Hey, before we go on, the best sale Boogie Blues gonna tell you that you're getting this sound from Radio K Band, K V A N 1506 and everybody's AM dial. Brought to you straight at you live, room by Centennial Freakout, sponsored by M A M. Ma'am, Mid-American Motors. Oh, it's a beautiful day out here. And before we rip them up for our first big event, let's have some of that great jiving sound. This, Mr. Trenton, is Central Security. Excuse huh. me, I hate to break this up, but uh, where does the winner sign up for this here convention? Do I look like I'm running an information booth? Now, what about the... No, uh, actually, you look like you're running for president of the Child Molester Society. You know what I mean? Watch this guy for the office, you an ice cream cone. Uh, I don't take candy from strangers. My dear, you've probably never met a stranger. And you? You look strangely familiar. You look like a ne'er-do-well who used to date my daughter. Uh, is she under 65? Very funny. Gunrunner, huh? Very interesting. Very interesting. You know, uh, young man, there is a possibility that uh, I just might have a position in my company for a smart ass of your questionable character. Mm -hmm. Worthy endeavor, considerable pay. $100 a day is what I'd consider considerable. Got it. And just remember, I'm not putting you on the payroll for your remarkable sense of humor. There's a party on the line for you, Mr. T. You will well, excuse me. Great. Of course. Well, then that sounds great. Now do me a favor. Well, come on back. Oh, oh. Man. Oh, that's awfully important. You be done here? Uh, Stuart, uh, uh, Grimble, sir. Sanitation engineer at base 14. Research 14. Uh, go ahead, uh, Grimble. There's something you ought to know. Hi, what do you have? Hi, right, give me three hot dogs and two cokes. Get in here. Here's a platter that'll help you banners do whatever it is that you do inside those vans. Here's a lady's cherry pie. We ain't got no hot dogs. Don't it look good enough to eat? You bitch. Now, if you don't want to take me any further, you can always take her along. I mean, she looks like an easy ride. Look, Karen, you're very beautiful. You're very smart. But I've got a lot on my mind and a lot to do. You know, I can always go back to that phone over there and give that Trenton guy a call. that thing like Trenton truckers down the drain. We gotta stop that bat. Uh, Mr. Uh, Trenton, what does that thing look like? Uh, weird! Weird, Gleason! You'll recognize it when you see it. And the sooner you see it, the sooner I bust it. Call me! Let's go, you idiot! Go!
annual, non-national, bicentennial, invitational... It's starting annual. without me. Clint, with what you got in the back of this truck, they could start a day ahead of you and you'd still catch them. Wait till I get my hands on that little weasel. There it is. There's a truck. I'll see you, Mr. Steven. I'm gonna go get him. Mr. D. Well, fix it, stupid.
Well, what about Fat Elmer? Oh, he's all right. Don't you know Chicken Whip Fat floats? Bill's a man, and he's going to the bath tonight. And I should have gone with him. Funny, he's gone with Don. Jesus God. company. Clint, God damn it! I know where my father's head is I'm at. I'm sure you do. And it's not where my head is at. Oh, Clint, haven't you ever loved anyone you, you didn't necessarily agree with? Speak to Banks. Hello, Banks. Go over to the lollipop massage parlor and get Judge Carlin out of there. We got a problem. Right. Tell him I said to call me here at the house. Judge Carlin, Bravo 3, if you spot the vehicle. I see it, Central. Stand by. <laughs> Seven point five five oh. House, Roger. That's ten four. The end of a short but happy relationship, baby, unless they let men and women share the same cells. Listen to this, Clint. Pandora's linear amplifier. Use caution in the vicinity of a small radio receiver. Mr. Bear, watch your ears. It's like a police radio. Right. Bravo 3, come in, please. Hey, Bravo 3, suck on this! Bravo 3, this is Central HQ. Bravo 3. No wonder we got such a high crime rate. I think I just better go back to work. Turk? No, it was American, I think. Shot up to 110, just like that. You've been working very hard, Cap. You've been working too hard. I gotta get you down on that old bomb. Maybe it'll give you the day off. Come on. Yeah, a day off. What day off? They was this noise. Okay. They blew up my radio. Smoke everywhere. Okay, take it easy. All right. All right. All right. Now relax, okay? Just relax. I get this out of your hair. There you go. Put these on. All right. Take it easy. All right. All right, now let's go. All right. We'll take you back home. We'll get somebody to pick up the car. Now call up Ethel. You don't have anything to worry about. Just relax. All right? Just take it easy. That's the boy. Give me a minute. 
I got to take a leak. Uh, just what is the uh, rumor we hear regarding the solar-powered vehicle? <laughs> My solar-powered? Well, it's, uh, it's exactly what you say it is. It's a rumor. Uh, and I, I want to assure you, ladies and gentlemen of the press, that uh, simply because I own Trenton Oil Company would I frown on the development of a solar-powered uh, vehicle. What, what can you tell me about the young inventor, Bosley? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, well, he's... Um, uh, he's being dealt with by the proper authorities, and I just want to uh, want to assure you that. By God, it will be done. How's, it, how's your Trenton truck going to do, Mr. Mr. Trenton, sir? And that Van Thanners and Van Van Land was the voice of himself, T.B. Trenton, coming at you live from the press conference right here at none other than the second annual non-national bicentennial Invitational Freakout '76. Now here's some real news for you: the grand fab winner of the first event. The first big event, the Van Drag, is Vince Gleason, driving a mean machine known affectionately as Gunrunner. Banners, that's one contest down and... What's she got that I haven't got? Stop whatever you're doing and get your accessories here right now. You can still cast those 5,000 clams.
Unity is looking for talent like yours. Well, we finally made it. You painted right on its side. And any Van Ninny that can take three out of five events wins the Mid-American Motors Loving Cup. Is that a new adult toy? And a cash prize of 5,000 green ones. Now we got another winner. He's got the vitamins. He's got the super sprocket in Van Land. He's got the balloons. You want to know who he is? You really want to know? All right. The winner, number 73. And remember, any fan who wins three out of any five competitions... Any fan who's got the power, the state power, the flower power, the love power, the power power, or whatever the hell it takes, or the big balls to make the long hauls, stay locked on this station for the duration of this monster in the business of heavy-duty good times. Get the grand fight. Son of a bitch. Banner, stop the presses. Hold your wheels and button those breakers. Something just rolled in. Maybe a visitor from outer space. Maybe a van from that big van in the sky. Something heavenly, something weird, something super. Still looking for a winner of the freak out van happening. Brought to you live by MAM, Mid-American Motors. When you've got a lot of trucking to do, it's MAM Vans that always pulls you through. MAM, cleaner engines, cleaner highways, that's our goal. And now Vanner's another fantastic toe-tapper that is guaranteed to tighten your lug nuts.
pretty lady, it's been a long time. How you doing? I'm Vince Gleason, in case Karen hasn't had a chance to tell you all about me. Vince? The last time I saw you... <laughs> New friend of yours? Don't worry about Clint. He's a sharp dude. Well, I'm not worried about Clint. I'm worried about you. If you think your van has got a chance in this, you're in fantasy land. Baby, you are looking at the winner. And I'm not alone. Your father. Clint needs that money. He's <laughs> a rich business type. Hey, all you vanners, get ready for that beauty contest that's coming up in about five minutes from right now. So shut up those mirrors and get those dollar bills out of your noses, because the judge is going to peek at your interior. Might as well forget it. Let's go to check in, honey. We got things to do. Hey, like, uh, later, pretty lady. Hey, gang, news from the front. Peanut oil is out. Safflower oil is out. Forget cholesterol. There's a new love oil. Trenton oil. The lubricant that loves to spread itself around your hot, purring engine. So, buffaloes and beavers, would you use a second-rate lubricant? No! Why should your ban? Trenton oil. The oil that loves you. Hey, Vanners, this is your old friend Boogie Blue, a man with a plan to get the van to span the whole land. And the land-spanning van on which I plan is the Bam Van. Now, I'm not here to talk trash. Boogie Blue is for real. And the best van for the cash is the Mam Van, the Trenton Trucker, the van that takes you and yours, Father, in more comfort, with more power, in hipper style, for a longer mile. The van that is guaranteed to generate a smile than any other van that am. So, listen to Boogie Blue. Get into a Mam Van. Bye bye. I'm still a superstar. Everyone knows. I'm the one to be My Dodge Maxi van is gonna burn up the street Yes, I know. I don't like being one of the harem. All right, bumper jumpers, all entrants in the Wiggle Waggle competition, pull up even with old Boogie Blue here and get ready to hang your toenails in the radiator. At the sound of the gun, Harder can find out who's got the swing in his van and all van land in the river water. Hey, 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 hey. The first big event, the Wigan Waddle. <laughs>
Van Dora was the winner this afternoon of both Show and Shine and the Wiggle Woggle. The score is Van Dora 2, Gunrunner 2. Now we're gonna get you. You know what we got on for this very two nights? A bad freaking plastic full moon. Yes, sir, he Boogie Blue knows how to do. We're gonna have a full moon, and nobody's gonna have empty arms, hollow legs, maybe, for the Halloween bash. I'm gonna take a leak. Bye. <laughs> you gonna miss me? They tried to eat it. I gotta hand it to you. I mean, Gleason, you want that fat lip of yours to get. Good police work. Good police work, Banks. Yep. He's the one, all right. All right, Hot Rod, you're under arrest. All right. For the theft of my property, reckless driving, and the destruction of Banks' tires. Well, that's government property. And the kidnapping of my daughter. Kidnapping? Don't interfere with justice, my dear. Take him away, Banks. Daddy! Darren? We'll discuss this later. We're going to destroy that solar-powered monster. Is that you? They've arrested Clint. What, what about Vandora? The door's been busted, too. Is she all right? Yes, but not for long. Okay, okay. You get the Vanners together, and, uh... Boz will be there. 749 clear, operator. Please, dear, don't swear. Listen to me. Daddy! What? Come on, 
You're the strongest daddy in all the world. And you can do anything. Come on, Come on. Daddy, I'm on your side. Hey, come on, pal. Come on, steady. You'll just get Clint out of there. Get him out. You've got to be kidding. The boy's a criminal. You're acting like a lovesick pup over a dumb truck driver. Well, maybe I do. I do. I love him. Well, we'll get you out of that. Has bail been set yet? Uh, how about 25000 Uh, how about 75000 Sure was a pretty bike you once had, wasn't it? You have yourself a good time at that party, Mr. Trent. Don't you worry about that boy, and we'll take good Welcome care of him. Welcome to the party. Scoot a little closer. Good boy, Gleason. Oh. Good boy. Mmm. Mr. T. Original.
down the road. Move side to convoy. Main to me and keep the pedal to the metal. Back door here. Colors are up and running secure.
Bristled with the 45 caliber load About to explode Bound to explode Ain't nothing in the world Like the feeling she's a putting on you Ain't nothing in the world That you feel that you can do better I'm just standing in for Boogie Blue as he gets in on a little of that uh, judging action, just like he did over there at that wet t-shirt contest, right, Boogie? Mudslide competition is about to begin, Banners. Let's rev them up. Prepare to do some real sliding and flipping. Stand takes the highest climb, walks away with a game. Oh, that hill is going to be a real bummer, you know. Oh, uh, hello there, Mr. Stratton. Stratton? How are you, sir? This morning. Hey, George? How are you? <clears throat> Kind of heavy, huh? Hey, listen to Boogie Blue for a short, short, short. Word is, Bandora is in the slammer. Judges say that slick banner Vince Gleason will take the five big green ones if Bandora cannot make the final competition, the mudslide event. We've got problems, Gleason. Morgan's on the loose again. It's your van, MTB. Yeah, but he thinks it's his show. I think that solar power has baked his brain. Ladies, Even up, please. Later on, uh, I think you and I better have a little strategy conference to ensure mid-American motor success. Certainly, TV. Judges have decided that as long as Gunrunner enters, since he's two competitions to the good, he'll take the grand prize. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, nice looking rig here. Yes, I know. Think a side pass is going to be a little bit too low going up that rig? Ah, uh, you're all right. Okay. We'll catch you up on top of it. Yes, you will. All right. Hey, little mama, gonna make my stand. Just watch me walk off with five grand. Hey, little mama, gonna make my stand. Just watch me walk off with five grand. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Mark's that way, too. Yeah, eight out of ten. Right? Oh, uh, Got it wired so far. I wouldn't far, worry too much about it. Can you see what happens? Hey, little mama, I'm gonna make my stand. Just once we walk off this fire.
lot of sunshine. I want you all now to meet the biggest man of them all, my main man, the king of the customizers, Mr. George Barrett. And George is going to give away to some of the banners right now a formula super stock tire. Where's the tire, George? Hey, hey, how about that? such as yourself, cannot win an M.A.M. contest. Yes, obviously, T.B. That's why I signed Van Dora over to Clint, and all prototypes are mine. Why, you... You owe Clint $5,000. You don't seem to understand, Bosley. I'm going to mass-produce your supervan. I'm going to raise your salary 10%. Oh, 10% to the fourth power, T.B. Remember the competition. 
And I could use a man like you, uh, say, double your present salary. I have a new design. By the time I'm through with Trenton, it'll cost him trillions. Beavers. Hey. Well, Ben, that sounds great. Now, do me a favor. Daddy, is that you in there? No, uh, <clears throat> my dear, I, uh, this is not what it looks like. I, uh... That's okay, Daddy. Even you're human. Ha, huh, fun! Didn't we have it? Hey, fan fans, didn't we have fun? You bet we had fun! <laughs> something from each other. <laughs> And if we should find the magic 
Lost 